Hello and welcome to the DSO Imager channel. My name is James and I'm going to be covering the different galaxies that I shot uh, this year for uh, galaxy season. Overall it's been a very successful galaxy season. We had a, a number of clear nights and I was able to get a lot of work done. We're paying for it now uh, because it's been pretty bad the past couple weeks and uh, I do believe that, at least for me, Galaxy Season 2021 is over. So let's go over what I got. We'll start with my uh, wide field shots. Each of these shots were taken with the SV70T. It's a 70 millimeter refractor with a focal length of 336 millimeters. And uh, the camera used was the ASI 533. So this is uh, M81 and M82 and uh, you can see uh, hints of uh, the IFN in there but uh, overall it, it came out alright. One technique that I do with these uh, wide field shots that have multiple galaxies in there is I create a mask for each individual galaxy that way each galaxy can get the attention it deserves. Next up is uh, M106. This is a very cool galaxy. I will have to revisit this one next year with my 8 inch edge. It's not bad detail for a little 70 millimeter scope. And there's lots of galaxies in this field, too. Cut one off over here. Now, another thing that I like in these pictures is I really like colorful stars. And so another technique that I do is I will use a uh, star mask and um, actually I'll subtract, I'll invert the image, apply the star mask, subtract green, invert back, and uh, then with the star mask boost the saturation just on the stars. Sometimes I subtract a tiny bit of green uh, without it inverted to get a nice color. And lastly, for the wide field stuff, is this uh, uh, two panel mosaic with M100. If you've seen my other video on, uh, on uh, targets with a small scope for galaxy season, this image was shared in that video also. The interesting thing about this one is that it's a two panel mosaic. I had intended to go uh, six hours per panel. And uh, what ended up happening is I got the six hours on this side here on the left. Uh, on the right, I only got four hours, and uh, it actually turned out to be enough. So I think the next time I do a, a mosaic like this with the 533, I could probably get away with just four hours on each, each panel. Now this one here, M96, I'm calling it a hot mess and uh, this is a casualty of running two rigs at the same time. The problem is that with the ASI 533 there are two gain settings I typically use depending on the target. Either gain 0 or gain 100. On my other rig with the 294 mono and the uh, Celestron Edge, that camera runs at gain 120 regardless of narrow band, broadband, it's always on 120. So when setting this uh, sequence up for M96, which was intended to be a two panel mosaic, I set the gain to 120 
because I had the 294 in my head and I don't have any calibration files to match so I reset the sequence and I went back and updated the uh, the exposure times and the gain settings at least I thought and ran it a second night in a row and found that I had failed to update the gain settings and it was back at gain 120 again so it was a very frustrating situation and basically what I did is I abandoned this target and this plan and just switched over that's when I did the uh, switched over to M100 and M99 and set, the, set that one up correctly and uh, so I got about an hour and a half here calibration files don't match the lights and you can actually see evidence of that see these streaks I don't know how well they're gonna come up but these are satellite streaks that did not get calibrated out so anyway it's a shame because there's a ton of galaxies in this field um, but I will revisit this next season alright so let's move on to the uh, Celestron Edge 8 inch edge with the uh, 0.7 reducer so we're a little over 1400 millimeter of focal length now this shot here is a combination of stuff uh, it's got data from the 533 and data from the 294 so I had acquired that 294 while I was in the middle of shooting data on M82 and also the hamburger is also mixed data now I was brand new to the 294 still had some issues with calibrations and so this picture it's okay I, I didn't get as much detail from the starburst region as I wanted to you can actually see there's some glowish here because I had problems specifically with uh, with the uh, calibration files with the flats and so this will be a target I'll probably revisit And then, like I mentioned, the uh, Hamburger Galaxy is a mix. So with this one, all the color is from the ASI 533. And uh, I went back and got additional time, I want to say 10 hours or so, of luminance data with the 294. Hamburger is a really cool galaxy. It's one of my favorites. I like the color. The dust lanes in the middle are really neat. Uh, wasn't quite able to pull out the tail. You can get a hint of it in there. And then of course M101. If you saw my video about my M101 journey, you've seen this picture before. Now in that video I did have a cropped version of this picture. This is what it looks uncropped. And I think to date this is probably my best image. I was really happy with how uh, how it came out now with this an image of M101 the interest, interesting thing is that I've got about 10 hours 10 and a half hours of luminance data and only one hour each of RGB and uh, three hours of HA so if you're looking at the color I'd say the one hour each was plenty. If you look at my hamburger, I had like over 12 hours from the 533 and only 10 hours of luminance. And so I think uh, for those that are thinking of getting two setups, uh, one with a one-shot color and the other with uh, luminance, you know, I don't know, I don't think you need that much color data. So something to consider. Running two rigs with two different cameras just to do that. I think if you just got a couple hours worth of color on each channel or maybe a couple hours of just one shot color, that might be enough. Uh, and you can just spend all the extra time on luminance. And my final target for galaxy season this year is NGC 2903. And this is a really cool looking galaxy and a lot of color in there. Uh, this target was actually picked out by my nephew. I, I hadn't even thought of this target 
I wasn't familiar with it. Uh, so it's right near the head of the constellation Leo. So that wraps up this year's galaxy season. If you have any comments or questions, certainly feel free to uh, post in the comment section. I will uh, conclude this video with a short slideshow of each image. Have a nice day. Clear skies.